Hi, my name is George Garcia. I am a product support specialist with Fusion 360 Electronics and Eagle. In this video, I want to highlight an interesting application of ECAD and MCAD workflows within Fusion 360. Now, one thing that can be useful in the prototyping stages is being able to create a test fixture for your PCBs. And we've seen some in the community use 3D printers for this. Now, the normal FDM printer isn't accurate enough generally for this application, but if you have an SLS printer, such as a Form Labs, for example, then those do have the accuracy required to be able to make this type of pogo pin test jig. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the 3D PCB. So we have this design. Before we can bring it in, we have to save it. So I'm going to save it to this directory over here. I want to call it bed of nails test. And there's just one way that we could kind of work in this direction. Hit save. Okay, I'm going to right click on my 3D PCB. Now, everything here is going to be in the 3D environment, so we're not going to actually be in the electronics environment for this today. I'm going to say insert current design. Okay, there we are. I'm happy with it there. Okay, now what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it because I want to make an offset plane from here. Just have a little bit of distance. Let's go ahead and set it to 25. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw a sketch. Good enough, finish sketch. Let's go ahead and extrude it. Let's say five, five millimeters, 10, let's do 10. Okay, and now what we can do is we can project the outline of our PCB onto this block of material. So we're gonna create a sketch again. I wanna go create, project, and I'm going to select the board. And as you can see, it's automatically going to pick all of the holes, all of the vias, even the board outline. I'm going to say that. Say OK. Now it's all projected. I can turn off 3D PCB and we can see that it's all there. Now the other little thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do an offset around just the outside curves. Okay, and you'll see why in a second. Say two millimeters. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and say finish sketch. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and edit the sketch. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the features that I don't need. So there's a lot of stuff that we don't need test points for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it. Like all the things we're not interested in. Most of these we're not interested in. Okay. Only interested in the ins and outs of the PCB. Okay. There we are. I'm going to finish this one. We may be returning to it. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and extrude these specific holes. So those are going to be the locations for our pogo pins. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and again, select the push and pull command. I want to select the specific features we want to get. So we want this one. We want this one. And we want each of these holes. So I like the body to cut. That way it'll dig into the material. It's gonna take it back. Five millimeters is more than enough. We just need to create a little bit of space there. Say okay. Good.
I'm going to select this little border that I made and just going to lift it up a little bit. I have a little bit of separation of the board from the bottom of the material. So I'll just give it like three millimeters. There we go. So we know the board can lay on that and it'll be easy to push down onto the pins. Now what we can do is we can insert the pins themselves. And what I've prepared for that is I actually have a model of a pogo pin. I can right click, say insert into current drawing. See right there, we're going to use a point to point move. I'm going to zoom in. See that we have a point that we can pick. And then we can get the centers of these holes as locations for it. There's one. And now we repeat this for as many as we need. Now one thing that's going to make this easier is using pattern command. So we go create pattern, rectangular pattern in this case. You want to make sure the object type is component. We select it. We want to select the axis. Now if we look, it's going to be the x-axis. Okay, we only need two total. We want to make sure distribution is set to spacing. And that distance is going to be 2.54. And there you go. We can see that it's placed perfectly, and we can say OK. Now if we zoom out, we see that there we have our jig ready. So this is the basic idea. Like I mentioned, you would add uh, cutouts to allow for cables to flow through in, within the material and that this is something that a typical 3D printer isn't accurate enough to do. But if you have an SLS style printer, you could do it that way. Thank you very much for watching this quick uh, exploration using the eCAN and MCAD functionality of Fusion 360 Electronics in order to make something like a bed of nails test jig. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.